The Alcatraz Prison Escape of 1962 is a tale of determination, ingenuity, and the indomitable human spirit. On the evening of June 11th, three of the prison's most notorious inmates, Frank Morris and brothers John and Clarence Anglin, vanished from their cells, leaving behind a series of clues that have puzzled investigators for decades. The prisoners had been planning their escape for months, carefully studying the layout of the prison and gathering the tools they need to break out. They spent hours each day chipping away at the concrete walls of their cells with makeshift tools, working in secrecy to avoid detection. Frank Morris was the mastermind behind the escape plan, a seasoned bank robber with a knack for escaping custody. Morris had spent years studying the weaknesses of different prison systems and developing plans to exploit them. He had a reputation as a master of disguise and was known to be incredibly resourceful and cunning. To come up with the plan for the Alcatraz escape, Morris spent hours poring over blueprints and schematics of the prison, looking for any vulnerabilities he could exploit. He was particularly interested in the utility corridors that ran behind the cells, which he believed could be used to access the roof and make a getaway. Morris shared his plan with John and Clarence Anglin, and the three men began working on their escape in earnest. They spent months chipping away at the concrete walls of their cells with makeshift tools, taking great care to avoid detection. They knew that if they were caught, their chances of escape would be forever lost. As the men dug their way through the thick walls of their cells, they could feel the weight of the prison bearing down on them. Alcatraz was known for its harsh conditions and strict security measures, and the slightest misstep could mean the end of their freedom. But the men were determined to succeed, and on the night of the escape, they put their plan into action. Using a variety of makeshift tools, they carefully chiseled their way through the concrete walls and into a utility corridor. From there, they made their way to the roof and inflated a raft using 50 raincoats. The raincoat raft was a critical component of the escape plan. The men had been stockpiling raincoats for months, carefully hiding them in their cells to avoid detection. Once they had enough, they used them to inflate a makeshift raft that they hoped would carry them to safety. Inflating the raft was a risky and time-consuming process, as the men had to be careful to avoid making too much noise and attracting the attention of the guards, but they were determined to succeed, and after several hours of hard work, they finally had a raft that was ready to go. The authorities were alerted to the escape when the prisoners failed to show up for roll call the next morning, and a massive manhunt was launched. The FBI searched for the men for weeks, but they were never found and their fate remains a mystery to this day. Did the men survive the treacherous waters of the bay and make it to the mainland, or did they succumb to the cold, choppy waters and drown? No one knows for sure, and the case remains one of the most enduring mysteries in the history of American criminal justice. As the years have passed, the legend of the Alcatraz prison escape has only grown, with theories and speculations swirling around the fate of the three men. Some believe they made it to safety and started new lives under assumed identities, while others think they may have been killed by the mob, who had a vested interest in keeping them quiet. One thing is certain, the Alcatraz prison escape of 1962 remains a captivating tale of determination, ingenuity, and the indomitable human spirit. It is a story that continues to captivate the imagination and inspire people around the world to pursue their dreams, no matter how impossible they may seem.